right. Next one is living in Japan <laughs> is the same as it's portrayed in anime. Uh, all right. Oh. Well, I'm not a. I didn't grow up as a 12 year old here, so I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did grow up as a 12 year old here, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I feel like my. <laughs> but I didn't go to school here, so that's different. Oh man, this is hard actually. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna change my answer. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. yep. Three, Three, two, two one. one. I don't know. Neutral. neutral. Everyone neutral? Well, I mean, I, I, yeah. I don't even think I can answer. Like, I, I don't have any perspective. Well, well you, you, have, the you perspective have perspective of, of living in Japan. Living in here for four it's, years. It's, yeah, as a fucking foreign YouTuber, like not working in Japanese society. Yeah, uh, no, but like even just like your day-to-day -day living yeah. here, right? Like, sure, yeah. you might, you know, we might all have jobs that are not the yeah, average but like, Japanese I'm, lifestyle, I'm, but- yeah, but I'm not like a 12 year old. Uh, and I'm also like swag, unlike they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, no I, I, there's like, I don't know. The, what does that even mean? The only anime character I've ever slightly related to is the guy from Golden Boy. <laughs> Cause he likes to cycle and fuck hard bitch. <laughs> no, no. I, you, I, you, I have you, no you, other, who else can I relate? He is literally the person that's I- That's pretty base, not gonna lie. I, I have literally no other character that my life is even remotely relatable to. He, he cycles you, and loves MILFs. The, actually, when you said the scene I thought about was when he was like worshiping that toilet and then-, okay, and then not the bidet that comes out. Okay, that, <laughs> yes, that part, yes. And then the bidet comes out. And he's like- <laughs> And even oh he God. worked an office job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. sure, that's yeah. true. Uh, I have like, yeah, I've literally like, I feel like- the, uh, uh, Okay, okay, here's the question know. then, here's the question. When it comes, okay, so obviously, you know, you haven't lived here, you know, like doing the average Japanese job or, well, you know, being Japanese or whatever, that's fine. Yeah. But like, you know, I think what a lot of people want to experience, especially anime fans who come to Japan for the first time, want to try and see if it is the same in reality or not in Japan is like the vibe of Japan. Yeah. that anime brings yeah. to people, uh, right? Okay. Like Japan, anime has that very specific vibe when it's set in like a Japanese city or a Japanese countryside. And they come to Japan thinking or maybe hoping that they will achieve that same vibe in real life. Uh, yeah. Do you think it exists in real life? I would say Fuck stonk yeah. disagree. Fuck stonk yeah. disagree? I would, I would disagree with that. I, I, I would, uh, I would strongly agree uh, if we, change if we just make the entire genre slice of life. Cause okay. I was, every, yes, I every agree. slice of life anime I've ever seen, I have experienced in some way, shape or form, the same vibe As As someone who grew up in the countryside where my grandma used to live, the way that slice of life anime or any anime set in the countryside portrays the countryside of Japan is like one to one. Yeah, I think yeah. it is so fucking accurate. If you want, if you want that like kind of slice of life vibe, just go out into the middle of nowhere in Japan, go to any random village, you will get that vibe. Yeah. In the city, however, completely different. Yeah, completely different. So that's why I said neutral. Yeah, it's it very much is dependent on like the genre. Every yeah. every slice of life, like I said, is one hundred percent accurate, minus the cute anime girls. Yeah, I uh, would say one hundred percent accurate. Yeah. It's pretty fucking close, though. <laughs> from from what from what I've from what I've yeah, experienced, from what I've experienced, it's pretty close. Um, a lot of anime movies as That's why well. I love slice of life. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me <laughs> of my childhood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, take out. Let's just. Every, I think I, I actually think um, anime is pretty accurate, minus like the otaku side of like the culture. Mm. Would, would you say? Yeah. I, again, I think it depends on how that otaku side is being portrayed in different shows, right? Like, for instance, like when it came to like the otaku portrayal of like Japanese uh, or the, the Japanese culture, like I think like shows like Lucky Star were pretty spot on with like how it portrayed its shit, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. Shirabako, for instance, is like pretty spot on, especially when you ask like people who actually work in that industry. So I think it completely depends. You know, obviously there are some like portrayals of like otaku culture that are just like, no, nah, that shit only exists in Japan and uh, only exists in anime rather. And you wouldn't find that shit in Japan, but yeah, yeah it's, it's hard, right? Cause like we're, we're using all of anime to compared to all of Japan, but there's so many caveats that are just like strongly agree to strongly disagree that it's hard yeah. to say exactly if it's the same or like not. There, like there are certain cliches 
that we see in anime that I'm like, oh, this is why it's a cliche because right. it, like it's exactly the same vibe and exactly the same experience that mm. you feel in Japan. Um, and then there are other things where a lot of like the weird shit in anime where of, co- of course, of course, Japan's not going to be like that. Yeah. You know? of course- I don't know, I've seen some weird shit. <laughs> uh, okay, Connor, think back to when you first visited Japan. Right. Yeah, it's totally different. It's yeah. totally different. Yeah. And like when I, you, you know, up until that point, your only real exposure to like Japan, or maybe the thought you had about Japan is what you saw I, in anime. I almost right? think like, like Japan feel, <laughs> feels like, like more closer to that slice of life vibe when you don't live here. Cause you have to deal with all the bullshit tax and the paperwork. <laughs> And the other worst parts about living a life. Yeah, well, uh, that's because you're an yeah. adult. Yeah, yeah. I, have to, I have to, you know, I-, I <laughs> If you came to Japan when you were like 12, you probably wouldn't have Yeah, bro, that. I mean like, and also I, I think I, 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 I would love more kind of, uh, how do I, how do I, I, I think there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a much more interesting side to Japan and like nightlife stuff as well that never mm. really gets covered much in mm. anime and stuff, which I think could be interesting. Like I when think you, it does though. Eh. It did, obviously, I don't think in mainstream anime, but yeah. this is more of like the niche kind of things. Like, Drops of God. Eh. Kinda. No, it's more uh, of a show. Bartender. That's, 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 it's more of a show. Yeah, that's, that, there's, there's a lot of like <laughs> bar anime that- uh, Well, they don't capture it. They don't, they don't capture the vibe. I think I mean, it's because just, I think it's because the vibe can be so varied. That's true. Yeah, but you know, I, I think that like it, it's such an interesting idea, and I think also to understand a, a country and a city, you need to understand the nightlife. Because I think that says a lot about people, because mm. that's what they do when they relax. What mm-hmm. people do when they when they can finally let loose. Yeah, and I think that's an important side of life, uh, an important side of people, mm. and something that, that isn't really shown a lot in. Uh, or I don't. I think is not reflected because I think a lot of the people who make anime are the same kind of people who don't uh, don't. Uh, they're not like Go the. the well, they, I, I say maybe they don't. Maybe they don't procure the nightlife as much. <laughs> maybe because they don't have the time. But yeah. also, I mean, obviously, I know there's some great manga that explore nightlife and stuff that are are good. Yeah. But I feel like there's this. But I don't, I sort of don't know how the fuck you would make an anime that do you, do you a compelling story about nightlife. Do you agree with what Miyazaki said then? Uh, what? Which is just like. I, I can't remember the exact It's like inbred, quote. anime's inbred. Well, I, I think the general vibe of his quote was that- Oh, as, anime's inspired off other anime. Yeah, as, as mm. more as- Oh, absolutely. Anime, the animation or the anime yeah. industry has evolved. Yeah. There is less filmmaking that is inspired by, I guess, like real life. Oh, absolutely. Um, Look at the fucking light novel industry right now. Yeah. They're all clones of one another. Yeah. You know? I, I feel like you- And then need, that yeah. bleeds into anime adaptations. That, that's why you get so many shows that- feel exactly the same as one another because they're all in, because they're all sucking off each other. <laughs> they're but all, I, 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 I'm that's talking, why they're all incest. That's a, it's all incestuous. <laughs> yeah. I, I always try to tell people, I'm like, man, the, the one thing that like is, I feel like is so important is just having some kind of experience, like doing yeah. something. And I think that like, you know, I think we're, we're, all, we're all, you know, we've traveled a lot. We all come from different backgrounds. We all, yeah. we've done a lot of weird shit mm. <laughs> and we live abroad. Um, and I think we have inherently just a lot of weird experiences from that. Yeah. And a lot of experiences that have forced us, us to, to kind of have to grow up <laughs> more. But yeah. you know, sometimes I, I talk to other other like uh, streamers who are like really young or something and they've they've done nothing their entire life but stream. Mm-hmm. And it's like, man, you you don't have any like- Experience. Interesting stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your, your stories are all from the stream. Your entire life is, yeah. is on this thing. And I feel like you're almost robbing yourself of uh, of life and like having cool experiences and getting to to have this fun. Totally. Especially if you, you know, you were in a stable income position, you should go out, go out, have experiences. Experiences go hang out are people, priceless, like, man. Go and do things with people, have stories. Mm. Cause you know, you, you, those experiences will allow you to, to bring that to your, your art or allow you to bring that to your, your life in whatever way, be it you improve your social ability, you can improve your work, you can improve your perspective on things. You can have a, 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 an enriched vision on the world and life. Yeah, totally. And agree. I think that, um, that sometimes it does feel like, cause I'm watching anime or I'm watching this stuff and I feel like sometimes that's not that. Mm. And that, that's frustrating for me. Cause yeah, it's like, yeah, totally. we're making stuff because we think this will sell well because some big wig decided they're gonna fund this because they're like, ah, yes, horse girls that ride. Then uh, we bet on them. Okay, let's do it. And it's like, okay, cool. It's like, all right, but that's like- Hey, div- don't talk shit about women. Okay, I know. <laughs> sure. I do, yeah, that shit makes more money than like every other anime can buy. That's, yeah. that's, that's more of an interesting concept of anime than the past like couple but I, of years. But I, I feel like there are a lot of anime that, that don't feel like this lived experience there. No, totally like, not. Because again, uh, they're, just, they're just taking- Just call out the East guy genre. Yeah. I, and yeah. I, I will happily call out Yeah, no, because genre. again, they're t- they're all inspired from 
past works of that yeah. same genre because yeah. that's all what a lot of these like authors and creators have like took inspiration like from. I, I i i disagree with a lot of things that miyazaki says mm. but man he's swag he is swag. oh dude he tells it as why it is. You, why are you saying that for everything now man? he's swag <laughs> bro. where did this come from it's just in my vocabulary right we're like we're like back in 2010 bro. Like, <laughs> I, I, you got it because he's just everyone feels like he's so based when he's just smoking and he's like everything's shit and everyone's like it's so fucking based it's like yeah anyone could say that all right okay first of all but yeah he does kind of say good he just said yeah, he says some good things he does say he yeah. does say him okay I, I yeah he's a little mean to his son but okay everything else is- yeah but that's based, <laughs> that's also kind of based. <laughs> character building am yeah. i right okay like and like in those interviews i saw like it's just on tv where he, he was like don't fucking talk to me in person if you see me or something like that he's he was like i he just, apparently he like goes around and like cleans his local area yeah yeah he's like don't fucking come up to me don't talk to me about my shit don't bother me while i'm cleaning like don't. Well, you know what? If I was his, his age and I was in the limelight, oh, you right, mad long, respect. I would say the same thing. <laughs> yeah, and I think I think that's you know back then when when you had to you know I think people were forced to have a lot more experiences and and forced to try other things and do other stuff. Mm. Whereas now I think it's a bit different. Yeah, you can make an anime without ever having to yeah. leave your room. But I I also do think that whenever you have media from a country or a, you know a culture, it it is represent uh representative 100%. of that culture yeah because you know you could ask the same question where she's like does living in is living in america the same as it is portrayed in movies and tv shows and mm. a lot of parts are not a lot of it is like exaggerated and everything mm. like that like but you know you look at something like you know let's say breaking bad and not everyone is going to become a meth like a fucking meth lord and everything like that. <laughs> but you, a lot of them wish. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, a lot of them wish. But you look, you look at the characters and you look at like the day to day life of like Walter, yeah. uh, and it's it is you know it is very reminiscent of some real people, a lot of real mm, people mm. that you see you know in just suburban America. Yeah. And um, I th- I think inevitably it's fiction, so a lot of things are going to be exaggerated. But the fiction a lot of times has a baseline that it is based of, so. But like certain like the Legend of the Galactic Heroes, which I, I haven't watched, but I assume it's yeah. a very good political drama. Yes. yes. I feel like you cannot write a story like that without really understanding like people. Oh, totally. Yeah. And to do that, you need to go out and talk to people. Yeah. Like to, to write a really like a really compelling political drama, I think you need to understand humans and how we work. And, yeah. and that's that's something that yeah. you just have to have. Yeah, experience. inspiration needs to come from so many different points and it all just accumulatively come together to create this one unique thing. Like yeah. you can't you can't create something new out of something that has already existed, you know, yeah. unless you're a fucking genius, but you know, not everyone who writes a light novel or a manga or an anime is a genius. Well, I yeah. thought we'd be done with this question in like two minutes. So I'm impressed ah. that we managed to get this much conversation. Well, there's a, there's, I think there's a lot of talking I, I think there's an interesting yeah. topic. Yeah. Well, I just, I don't, I don't want to be like, when I talk about stuff like this, I'm not trying to be like a guy like fucking people who try to leave the house. They're all fucking neats. They're all losers. That's not what I'm trying to get at. I'm just like, I feel like in general though. Come on, man. Where's your swag? Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> just get some We're swag. all thinking it. <laughs> But people do just, you know, the, the the lifestyle here is changing. People are becoming more indoors, as we are in the Western world as well. Mm, but I feel mm-hmm. like a bit more accelerated here. Yeah, uh, it's a bit more accepted here as well. I think. Mm, um, yeah. So I think we're seeing we're it's seeing, not, it's not I, seen we see as that much, in our media. Yeah, it's not seen as much of an issue here. I think. Generally, I think the ones the stories that find success are, you know, you get a feel that the author has something to say and an experience yeah, they want absolutely. to relay. Yeah, totally. Um, you can, I, you know, I watch a lot of isekai, so I know that a lot of isekai they're not trying to say anything. It's turn your brain off and it's the same formula. And these characters are one dimensional. Here is this character archetype that I've seen many times before. It's a cash crab riding a wave. Yeah, basically. yeah, yeah. Which which is is something you can make money off yeah. of. Which is like, um, you know what? Respect, get yeah. the bag, bro. But it's not something care. that I'm ever going to recommend to my mates to be yeah. like, yo, this one, this one actually- Yo, smartphone in another world, <laughs> fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 